Jagmohan Delmia served as the ICC president from 1997 to 2000. Shoei Bakhtar and Jagmohan Delmia. Photo source, Twitter, Shoei Bakhtar, the former quick bowler from Pakistan ended as one of the best bowlers in the history of cricket. He is also reckoned as one of the fastest pacers of his time and his deliveries used to clock around 150 km per hour. However, there was a time when he was brought under the scanner for having an illegal bowling action, but, it was Jagmohan Delmia, who supported Rawal Pindi Express on all fronts due to which he could manage to play for so long according to Lieutenant General, Reed, Torquiesia. The 44-year-old former pacer was a menacing bowler, who dominated batsmen for more than a decade with his quick bowling. Overall in his illustrious career, Akhtar accounted for a total of 444 wickets across all the formats for men in green, but, his route to glory was not easy and once he was on the verge of getting banned from international cricket after his bowling arm came under scrutiny in 2001. However, it was the former ICC chairman, who rescued him from all the charges and claims. Advertisement former PCB chairman reveals how Jagmohan Delmia helped Shoei Bakhtar in a recent interview. Former PCB chairman Lieutenant General, Reed, Torquiesia said that Jagmohan Delmia, who was the then president of ICC, 1997-2000, supported Shoei Bakhtar on all fronts. He also added that the Indian administrator took a stand although other members were insisting that the action of former Pacer was illegal. Jagmohan, who had been president of the ICC and was an influential voice, supported us a lot in the Shoei Bakhtar bowling action case. He took a stand for us despite the ICC members insisting that Akhtar's bowling action was illegal. Lieutenant General, Reed, Torquiesia, who headed the PCB from 1999 to 2003, told to GTV News Channel. The former chief recited that Jagmohan Delmia's stand played an important role that forced ICC to eventually allow Akhtar to play in international cricket. They also came to the conclusion that the pacer had a medical flaw since birth that gave him such type of bowling action, but due to the stance taken by Delmia and myself, the ICC eventually conceded that Akhtar had a medical flaw in his bowling arm since birth which gave him hyper-elbow extension and he was allowed to play on. Let's block ads. Why?